Hi, I'm Tom Mitchell, and I'm going to help with the question, how to import and arrange scenes in Final Cut Pro. First, there are some important considerations when you begin a project. The manner in which you organize your project can directly impact the speed and ease, or lack of ease, that you will experience in cutting your project. A simple project like an event with one or two reels of footage may require little beyond capturing because everything was shot in chronographical order and probably all you intend to do is edit out the non-essential footage. On the other hand, even a short scripted production working from the screenplay will probably be shot out of order and is best organized by scene and take to facilitate shot selection. The larger the project, the greater the need for this organization. And a large event uh, shot with multiple cameras can result in dozens of hours of footage which will most likely need to be logged by the camera with the provision for synchronization. Let's take a look at the project we have today. There are basically three facilities provided by Final Cut Pro to ingest footage. Log and capture a tape-based utility for standard definition DV and HDV footage. Log and transfer, a file-based or tapeless utility designed to log, transcode, and capture footage that is presented in AVC HD, Long Gop, MPEG-2, or other non-optimum editing formats. Both log options create a permanent capture scratch file within your project. Import provides a simple facility with which to bring in supported footage from external hard drives or tapeless cameras that provide directly editable footage. This also includes footage that has been batch transcoded in Final Cut Studio's compressor application. Imported material must be manually copied to your project files to prevent it going offline when source drives are disconnected. Once the footage is captured, it resides in Browser, where you organize your project. In List View, Browser is sorted to your preference based on parameters included in the footage database. In Icon View, Browser displays items by type in whatever order you choose. It is even possible to do simplistic storyboarding in Icon View. Arranging your clips in the timeline is a very flexible process. You can simply drag clips from Browser to the timeline and trim them there. or where precise trimming is desired, you can load the clip into Viewer, set the in and out points, and then drag the clip to the timeline, or let the system place it in the timeline at the current position of the timeline indicator. At best, editing is a lengthy process so I laid out a few clips to get a rough cut started. It's a scene from a pilot for an episodic drama. Notice the organization of the browser. It's broken down into scenes so that the shot selection can be simplified. We see that within the scene 3 bin we have a select bin that represents the shot choices for this scene. I mentioned earlier that it was possible to create a rudimentary storyboard in the icon view of browser. I have done so here. The 10 shots for the scene are displayed in order. I could take advantage of this by selecting the entire group and dragging them to the Canvas Edit Overlay Insert option. But I'll go a step further and simply drag the entire Scene 3 Select bin to the timeline. Additional shots can be added by setting the timeline indicator to a point where you wish to insert and dragging the shot from its bin to the Canvas Edit Overlay Insert option. So there it is, how to import and arrange scenes in Final Cut Pro. I'm Tom Mitchell and thanks for watching.